least to talk about the game, um, promote the game. And uh, um, you know, we have some really, really fun jerseys to talk about uh, with Nike. We had a great event that we did with uh, Ricardo Tishi, um, with his line with Nike. So we've just been doing a lot of fun things here in uh, Paris and promoting the game and, uh, and talking about the brand. I'm actually Everything? happy to see him. Ron, you want to say something? No, I'm just saying that I'm happy to see him. Um, you need contrast to accomplish great stuff. You need to overcome adversity and, uh, to, in order to be a champion. And I think that's what it takes. If you are satisfied with the status quo, then we're not going to be remembered as champion. And I think that's what the Los Angeles Lakers set the bar. Like, we want to be champion. We are champion. We have a history. There's the culture. This is a championship team, championship mindset. This is where we're trying to go. So let's not kid ourselves and not waste time. The member mentality. What, what is that? What, where does that come from? Uh, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lifestyle, really, and an understanding um, that every day you're trying to get better, right? You get better today. Um, and you try to be better today than you were yesterday, right? And so the, the test that I always did since, ever since I was a kid, and I tell my kids to do now, at the end of every day, you look yourself in the mirror and you ask yourself, did I get better today? If the answer is yes, and you do that for five years, 10 years, 15 years, how much better are you going to be? And, that, and that's basketball, that's whether it's uh, football, that doesn't matter. Are you getting better every single day? That's the question, right? And it's just taking small steps. You, you don't try to get, get it all done in one day, in one week, in one year. Right? It's the process of getting better every day and doing that for a period of years that then create the masterpiece. Mamba mentality isn't a, isn't a thing where you, you're, you're intense all the time or you're playing with this kind of aggression. It really depends on you as a person. And, and it, the question is, did you get better today at, at whatever it is? Did you get better today? And so I do see that in a lot of the young players that we have in the league today, and I think the league is in really good hands um, and where the future is going. And uh, I'm excited to see it. If you're trying to take players and you're trying to get them to be better, you have to break the body down to make it stronger again. If you, wanna, if you want your body to do extraordinary things, you have to train in extraordinary ways. Right? You can't come out here and have a workout and finish the workout and say, oh, yeah, I'm fine, I'm ready for another one. No, no, I finished working out, I could barely move. <laughs> And uh, so that's why I'm, I'm really not surprised with the injuries because players aren't really building that, that strength and muscle that it takes. The challenge has changed, right? It goes from winning championships to now trying to uh, take what I've learned and share it with the next generation, right? And so that becomes a challenge now. So the obsessive behavior has just simply shifted from winning championships to now to helping the next generation on their quest um, to try to be their, uh, the best version of themselves. Well, my goal is just to inspire the next generation, right? If I can share some of my um, own stories um, to help you on your journey, I'm happy. Kobe, we haven't heard you speaking French. Please say something in French for us. <laughs> Merci. Here we go. Great job, great job, great job. Kobe Bryant, Messina. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, guys. It was a very nice Thank you. 